and welcome to Let's Bake with Megan. So today I'm going to be baking some vegan cookies so we'll just get right to it. So as you can see I have all my ingredients laid out. So what do we have to do first? So we put in the brown sugar. It's a lot of brown sugar guys. Um, and then we put in the sugar. Yeah. Brown sugar. No, brown sugar. No, yeah, sugar, brown sugar, salt. So how much salt do we need? One teaspoon. And I left the salt over there, so just <laughs> give me one second. I'm right back with the salt. I hate doing this because I always, you know what, I'm gonna do it over a bowl just so that I don't put too much in. No, I mean, not that it matters because I did it and there's like tons of sugar in this. Whoa, okay, <laughs> see, just as well I did that. Okay, there we go. One teaspoon of salt um, and coconut oil. So now we're going to whisk this until combined. We need to do this with a video, so this could go horribly wrong, guys. So now I'm going to put in my non-dairy milk which is soya milk just for anyone wondering but i mean i know you can see that right there um and now i need to get vanilla extract so how much of that do we need i think it's one teaspoon also oh, oh guys it's like okay sorry it was like really short so also doing this over here since i'm not very good at this either Woo, vanilla and then oh See, this is what it was supposed to look like the last time. See, it's all smooth. So that's all the sugar, all dissolved. So now this is take two because clumsy Megan that I am just dropped all the flour and baking soda all over the floor. So I've already mixed in the baking soda and we're just going to sift this in. We don't really have a smaller sift so the drainer for the pasta will have to do. So now we're folding in the flour and the baking soda in with the melted sugar. Which will then make a thicker mixture. Make sure to get all the flour in obviously. Okay, I think this looks like what it did in the thing. So now we are going to put in some chocolate chunks, but I'm only putting in a small amount because I have dark chocolate chips that I'm going to put in. Um, okay, maybe that was too much, but it means that it will be a bit more even because the last time we had some uneven chocolate bits. So hopefully these will turn out a lot better this time. So we added some extra flour just to give it more of a dough type consistency because it didn't look very good the last time. So now we're going to cover it up with some tin foil since we don't have any tin film. And I realised that was probably quite loud, sorry guys, especially if you're wearing your phones. Um, and we're going to put this in the fridge for half an hour. So we'll be back in half an hour in real time. Okay so now that it's come out of the fridge for 30 minutes I'm now going to scoop some of the dough if it will come out. Yay there we go onto the baking tray. So this is what they look like some of them are a bit uneven so they might be a bit flatter but this is how it went. Um, So now we're just going to pop them in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes and then we'll be back once they're out the oven. So this is how they turned out this time. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened and what went wrong. Um, the last time that my dad helped me with them, they turned out so much better and I will put a photo up of what they looked like beforehand. It does work, don't worry, this is not just a 
a recipe that flops it does work for some reason this one time it just decided to not work like some of them look like cookies in some ways like this one and this one and this one and maybe those two but those like what is this like I don't understand but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this type of video please put a thumbs up there will be part two that will be out soon so definitely stick around to check that out Hopefully this one won't turn out as such as flop and it will be much more successful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!